Hello, this is Dan York with Voxeo Corporation, and in this tutorial, I want to introduce you to a new tool called Prophecy Log Search that we are releasing as part of our Evolution hosted developer site. If you're familiar with our developer portal at evolution.voxeo.com, then you probably know that we include inside of it an online application debugger tool that lets you go and look at the log messages either generated directly by your application or by our system executing your application. This all happens in real time, so you can have calls coming into your applications and see the flow of the log messages that are there, look for errors, or just generally watch how the calls progress. We also provide a facility where you can go and download those log files later through the Files, Logs, and Reports menu choice. But this new tool that we're rolling out called Prophecy Log Search provides an extremely rich environment for you to query your, the logs that are on our service and to be able to generate reports and look at other information out of there. To use the Prophecy Log Search tool, what you will do is log into Evolution as you normally would and go up to the Account menu and pull down to where it says Prophecy Log Search. Right now, while this service is still in development, we have you going to a landing page here which talks about the Prophecy Log Search interface and at the bottom provides a series of tips and tricks that will help you make better use out of the Prophecy Log Search service. We also provide you with links to these video tutorials. When you're ready to go, you simply come over and click on the Launch Log Search button. When you enter the Log Search site, you'll see that the page is being built for you. And at the very top, there's the Voxeo logo followed by a search box, which we'll come back to. And then there are a series of saved searches, which are searches we provide to you by default, which you can just simply click on and go and query the log files uh, generated by your applications. Then as you scroll down the page, you'll see recent sessions with errors, sessions by URL, vo uh, which works for voice XML applications to show you the URLs that were called for your VXML apps, recent voice XML sessions, recent call XML, and recent CC XML. If, for instance, you do not create call XML sessions, then this box will still appear, but it will be empty. Now this main dashboard shows you your results for the last 24 hours. Now let me come up to the top here to the search box and I'm just going to enter in a term. Let's say that I want to get a report on the caller IDs of the uh, calls that were made into my applications. So I'm simply going to enter in caller ID up there and it's going out and generating information uh, based on that query. Now you can see down here it provides this very nice little timeline showing you what the, uh, when the calls occurred. As I mouse over each of those, you can see there were 57 results on this particular item, 101 here. So you get a sense of what's, uh, what's happening in your log. Now I want more data, so I'm gonna go and choose from this drop-down menu, I'm gonna choose the last seven days. Now it's gonna go out and start querying the database for the last seven days of log file entries that match this search term, caller ID. Now as it starts to come back, I can start scrolling down this list even as it is pulling in more data. So I don't have to wait for all the data to appear. The timeline will appear at the end, but right now I can just scroll down there and now I can go over the timeline and I can again see the various different results that are here. Now one of the neat things about this is that I can go and I can click on anything that is part of these log entries to further refine my search. So for instance, if I want to see all calls or all log entries from this caller ID, I will simply go and click on it. And now you can see up here that the search terms have been expanded to be caller ID and then this phone number. Now it's going to go and pull up all of the log entries that include that phone number inside of them. At any point in time, I can simply click on the Voxeo logo to return back to my main dashboard page. Now just as an example, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on one of my sessions, one of my searches that has been pulled up here, and this particular search, which is looking at a voice XML URL, will go out and do that query, again showing me by default the last 24 hours. That's just a really quick tour of the basic facility. If you look at our other tutorials, we'll talk about diving deeper into the searches and also reporting uh, on searches and fields, and we'll also get into how you can save and export searches. 
If you'd like to experiment with this prophecy log search feature, you simply need to go to evolution.voxeo.com and log in with your developer account. If you don't have one, you can register for a free developer account and get started now with developing voice applications. If you have questions about this service or about this screencast, please email me directly at dyork at voxeo.com. More information about this service and more information about screencasts can be found at our blog site at blogs.voxeo.com. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we'd love to hear your feedback about this new service. Thank you.